Hey, by the way, you suck. I really like, like your internet guy voice. Like, you know, so everyone always has a different internet guy voice. Yeah. It's always slightly different, but yeah. always equally annoying. Yeah. Welcome back to Odds of War. I'm Matt. And I'm Rico. And today we're playing an awesome game of Thousand Suns versus the Orcs. Yes. Foul green skins dare to profane our ritual site. We of the ninth form of the Thousand Suns have sent a Terminator Strike Squad. Today on Odds of War. Rico, thank you for coming back in. On, Always a pleasure. Uh, on Always. basically short notice. Um, Canny-eyed viewers among you will notice uh, actually last week we missed an upload. Uh, that was due to a variety of reasons. One, uh, we've had some major technical issues in the background uh, with audio uh, problems uh, kind of ruined this really awesome battle report that we filmed. Um, and that combined with the time crunch of actually myself and a few others uh, went to LVO. Oh, that'd be Yeah, cool. and uh, so it just meant that I just didn't have time to uh, do anything. So I, uh, yeah, so we just have like a lost episode. So there you go. Maybe we'll come back up, who knows? Maybe, one day, who knows? But, Today, we've got the Thousand Suns versus the Orcs. Glorious, glorious Ooh. Orcs. So, um, before we talk about the lists, of course, guys, if that's not your thing, you can skip straight to the battle report. Uh, the timestamps are down in the description below, and for the for those of you on mobile, I'll put them in the uh, description as well, so you can, or I mean the uh, comments as well, I'll pin a comment, okay. so that way you can skip yeah. straight to it. Um, but, we're talking lists. All right. All right. Uh, so, Thousand Suns, really, e I'm gonna do mine first, yeah, if you don't go, mind. Yeah, it's go gonna ahead. be super easy peasy. The ninth form returns. Uh, this time, it's all about the Terminators, baby. Oh, yeah. It's, it's all about the Sekhmet, the Scarab Occult. <laughs> Hashtag Sekhmeta, here we go. Ha oh, Ooh, I like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, my leader is, of course, the Scarab Occult Sorcerer. You can tell him because he's got the fancy cloak, uh, and also the staff. So uh, he's got a uh, he's got the the uh, the staff and a Inferno combi bolter. Uh, fun fact about Inferno, it's uh, all minus two AP. So get ready for dead orcs. No saves. A lot of a lot of dead orcs coming. Yeah. The um, and then uh, he of course is going to have Cybolt. He's okay. he's a caster, so he can uh, he can Cybolt once per turn. Okay. Terminator armor, so of course he's got a two up. Mm, so got good. that five up invuln. So tasty. Really nice. Mm. Then uh, dropping down to specialists, we've got a. Terminator, uh, Scarabacult Terminator with Combi Bolter, uh, the Hellfire Missile Rack, and Power Sword, uh, and that he's going to be my uh, Demolitions Specialist. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, I mean, the Hellfire Missile Rack was already wounding on twos because it's strength eight. But I just want to make sure. But uh, so. just, you know, in you know, it's really more for the Combi Bolter to wound on threes. Uh, also because why not have three Specialists when you only have four guys? As someone who previously ran a lot of Terminators, I can respect this. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, a Terminator Gunner okay. with a uh, Heavy Warp Flamer and a Power Sword. Uh, he's going to be my Heavy Specialist. So uh, I'm kind of aping you on that Iron Warriors yeah. thing where you know I can I mean, uh, spin the CP to buff up his uh, you know D6 plus one shots. Make it definitely just worked, yeah. A little more reliable. Hopefully you have more, more, uh, more results than I did. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but uh, that's a Strength 5, AP minus 3, Damage 1 Flamer. So look out. 8-inch uh, range, of course. And then, as the only named member of the team... Azek, the ever faithful, the Amazing. chosen of Zinch, if you will, uh, he's carrying the Icon of Flame today. Yep. He's just a Rubric Marine with uh, Icon of Flame and a uh, Inferno Bolter. Okay. Uh, he's going to be my veteran. Who else today. has he burned up with that Icon? Because I, I know he, well, he, he marked a farmer with, with a flashlight. He got a farmer. Uh, he dealt a wound to a Custodes. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Um, in our lost game. He iced a burn a boy. Oh wow! Because that game was also a thousand suns versus orcs. So this is kind of like a, a redux for me almost. So it's fate. It's yeah. fate. I yeah, bet. yeah. You know. So you uh, burned a burn a boy. Let's yeah, burned a burn a boy, and then um, and then uh, I think he popped off on a uh, he popped off on a hormagont 
Uh, but the hormigon happened to be from uh, Leviathan and was just like <laughs> tasty flames. Tasty. So uh, that's the list, man. Okay. That's it. Uh, like really it. easy. Like really easy peasy. Um, it's going to be interesting. Very low model count to your very high model count list. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited because uh, uh, I feel like I've never actually ran three Terminators really? before. Uh, so this will be my first you're time. You're going to love it. Yeah. Uh, great. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it's good. I mean, if the dice are with you, which they should be, because you control fate, then you're yes, fine. Yes, that's right. There's that's no right. Then. Exactly. Exactly. So, so uh, tell us about the orcs. So, for anyone who doesn't know, I played orcs for a while. Uh, they're, I'm coming back to them for eighth, so I decided to make a quick little kill team. A lot of these are kind of rushed paint job. Um, I've only got one based, but that's kind of an example of the end end goal. But pretty standard across the board. So, for the leader, we've got the uh, the Savage red git with his little red mm. hat and his uh, and his blitz a blaster with his gold gun. Yeah, there so we go. got the lucky blue git and we got the savage red git. There you go. All right, he's, he's speedy okay. and savage. He loves okay. it. So he's okay. he's leading the charge from the back, obviously, because you know, of course, he's, yeah. he's, he's he's the most cunning. Right, right. And then uh, we've got three specialists. We've got Aluda, who's my heavy. We've got a uh, two burners. One of them is going to be um, my veterans, and one of them is going to be my demolitions. So uh, we've we've already discussed how we're going to mark them off. So um, my, my goal today is to keep track of which one is which. Hey, if you can keep track of them, that's great. And if you can't, then they they'll, will. they'll so let you yeah. know. So that's they your mission also. You know. There you go. Let me know. Uh, then for uh, non-specialists, we've got four basic Gretchen. Or sorry, three sorry three basic Gretchen. Mm, and then, I love yeah. Gretchen and Kill Team. Some might they really say are. they're the best point-for-point point unit. They, they are the best unit in the game. Yeah. Look out, Sekmeta. Here comes. Ooh. Here comes a Gretchen. Yeah. Uh, to follow up the three Gretchen, we've got four boys. All slug choppas on those all, boys. Obviously, all slug of choppa. I, it, is, is is there another option? I have no idea. I mean, there's a shooter. Yeah, but that's not as killy. You can't just run in with a shooter. And just... Well, you can run in and shoot with a shooter. No, I, that's not as fun as chopping someone in half. <sighs> with a but Dadaka. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Teach his own. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Next skin. There's always next okay, skin. Okay, okay. And then to lead up uh, at the very at the very back of this list, but probably at the very front of whenever we actually play, is going to mm. be the two knobs. One with a big chopper and a slugger, and one with a slugger and a power claw. Yeah. So they're both um, full-on knobs. I get the four-up save. Yep, and... four-up save. And interestingly enough, if memory serves, we'll double-check this, they also have a slight um, a morale fix. They do. Uh, so it's like them and like six inches out or something like that. It's three inches. Three inches? Yeah. They, if you roll, I think, a six on a morale test, then you pass or yeah. something like that. We're going to double check. It. Yeah, it's, we'll, it's we'll double good. check. We'll make sure we get the rule right. Hopefully I get it because it sounds If and clutch. when it comes up. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds pretty yeah. clutch. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, they both have cyborg bodies, so they have a five up feel no pain. That's going to be big, especially here. Yes. Yeah, especially against with, all uh, this. With cybolts. And, uh, and of course, uh, Azek's going to pop off that banner uh, every round you every chance he it. gets and i want him to fry at least one burner because that would be that would be very nice be funny yeah. and ironic yes you know? but that's my list that's what i've got right now yeah uh, that's everything so far and uh, hopefully it does does gork or mork proud and or mork yep oh, also i'm running evil sons so evil sons so everything is speedy so evil sons is a plus one to so movement advance advance charge charge and then uh and then also i believe you can uh, advance and shoot Assault mm. weapons without penalty. I need to double check. I believe yeah, so. Yeah, we'll see. That's why you should have took the shooters. Well, I mean, the burners are assault. So okay. Well, you, they were auto-hitting, so there are already no penalty. Yes, well, I, I, wow. want, I wanted to make sure. That's well, I okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're auto-hitting, is the orcs are just really sure. <laughs> Super fast. They're like, we can definitely hit with these guys. I really believe in it. I yeah. really believe I can. Yeah. Excellent. So just refresh me again. You said uh, it, was, uh, it was a demolitions burner and, and a... a Demolitions and a veteran. So Veter- okay. a veteran so, burner. Okay. So he, he is the veteran and he is the demolitions. Interesting. So which Interesting. one are you going to target first? That's mm. it. And then he's also the heavy, so he he can move in advance and not take any penalty for no sorry nothing Very nice. for moving. Sorry. Yeah, you. Uh... Interesting. A veteran burner will be very interesting because I have a veteran here, and so obviously we're both in theory going to be trying to pregame move, okay. but then that's going to be right in the danger zone right off the bat. I love being in the danger zone. It's it's, it's like playing 4D chess. Just mm. way dumber on this side. Yeah, <laughs> just one side's way dumber. Uh, cool, very cool. Uh, we haven't talked about what uh, mission we're going to play, but we're going to get set up and we'll figure that out and we'll talk about it when we come right back. But before we go, of course, if you want to see these videos in your feed every week, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that will make sure that you see every video of ours. And of course, uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and uh, if slash win... 
you uh, notice a rules error, let us know down in the comments. Uh, you'll get 10 internet points for the first one, five internet points for the second one, and no internet points for anybody else. I'm actually going to start keeping track of the internet point should. standings. We'll have yeah. like a board in the back. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, And like yeah. the top commenters will have their name up yeah, there. Yeah, like Top commenter. Down, down votes, yeah. down votes. Yeah. Awesome. You ready? Absolutely. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right, so we are set up here for this game of Orcs versus Thousand Suns. Just to go over the mission really quick, we're playing the narrative play mission Wrecking Spree. So uh, what we thought was happening here is obviously the Orcs have uh, busted in with their battle wagon yep. here, uh, and they're here uh, just mucking up the place uh, as you see them. They're deployed, the, the center deployment here was sort of this like uh, 14 by 10 inch box here in the center. So they're all deployed there. And then the Thousand Suns are deployed out here. They had like a two inch bar sort of across each side. So we've got two over there and two over here. Uh, basically the mission is uh, you, you gain two command, or you gain two points at the end of each battle round if you control more terrain uh, objects than your opponent. Right. Uh, so that would be uh, here, here, this stretch here. So three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, and so we just called these two nine. Yeah. Uh, battle wagon, we're going to say, is a special one. Doesn't count for the points. Uh, we're we're going to have some special rules for that, really, uh, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, but so that's the um, that's the scoring there, and then you get uh, one point at the end of each battle round uh, if you control a fallen statue, which would be uh, here, 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 and over here. All right. So uh, so as you can see, the orcs are already primed to uh, to really take the lead on points, and it's going to be up to the thousand suns to shake them off. Uh, so just a bit of a uh, bit more bookkeeping before we launch into it. Special rules for the battle wagon. It's a wrecked battle wagon. Yep. So we've uh, we've said uh, either one of us can allocate a shooting attack towards it during the shooting phase, and uh, if we hit, mm -hmm. uh, then on a six, uh, you've hit the uh, the fuel tank. You've hit the fuel tank. Yeah. yeah. And so it explodes, in which case then it'll deal. Uh, so we'll measure out uh, six inches from it, and anything in six inches, we'll roll a d6 for. On a two up. Uh, it's a flesh wound, and on a one, it's an out of action. Yeah. So it's uh, so it's uh, dangerous if this ha happens to go up. Exactly. Uh, last bit of bookkeeping before we get into it. Uh, recently went to LVO, picked up these uh, nifty uh, things. We've got a, a turn counter here, uh, which we're going to use, and then we've got uh, flesh wound markers. So flesh wounds, and then regular wounds, and then we've got uh, we've got these like movement here, so you can see advance there, move there. Uh, we're going to try them out this game. Let us know uh, down in the comments if these are easily legible for you guys. Uh, if you like them better than the, the sort of traditional cardboard markers, uh, I'll look into getting some more of these so we have enough for everyone. Yep. Uh, but uh, if you guys let me know that they're hard to read or something, then I'll just use them for my personal games there we go. And, uh, and we'll stick to these. So let us know down in the comments, please. Uh, definitely looking for some feedback on that. Also, one last point of reference. I do understand that uh, for anyone in the comments, that might think, oh, you put so many guys close to the battle wagon. If that goes up turn one, you'll lose so many guys. I'm okay with this. I yeah. Think, I think that's well, yeah, hilarious. we're playing a narrative mission here. Uh, and so, I mean, you know, they've obviously yeah. just just spilled out of the battle wagon. They're looking for scrap to fix it. So if they yeah. all get blown up, I think that's hilarious. Yeah, let's do there this. we go. All right. Uh, and so that, that is that. And uh, with that, let's see. Do you have greater strategic advantage or do I? Ooh. I'm at 124 points. I think we're at the same point level, actually. So I don't think anyone gets a strategic advantage. I think, yeah, so we, uh, so yeah, so we roll off for initiative. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so with that, we're ready to go into uh, initiative, unless we both have veterans. Do you want to spend the veteran pregame move? I do, actually, I do. You do? I, I do. do as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that, uh, and then uh, we'll come right back. So uh, ad advanced moves have been made for our veterans. Uh, my veteran has just moved up here, uh, grabbing onto this cover piece, uh, and then... The red hats. Yep. Uh, advanced red hat. over here. The uh, the veteran moved up here. Uh, we're danger close already. Right in, right by round one. That's where I like to be. Uh, and so now officially we're ready to go into the initiative phase for round one. Zinch. 
provides with a nine, oh. the blessed number of Zinch. That is correct. The Thousand Suns will be taking the first movement phase. Glorious. All right, so it's been an eventful turn one here uh, in this game of Wrecking Spree. For the Thousand Suns, our heavy specialist here just moved up. Uh, nothing big there. Azek, having already taken his veteran move, he readied. Then uh, my demolition specialist over here readied up. And then lastly, my leader charged into this combat, not not afraid at all of this veteran specialist. <laughs> no uh, he said, I'll, the veteran. I'll take him down. No worries. Zero respect. Uh, so that is it, actually, for the Thousand Suns movement yeah. phase. So we'll kick it over to Rico. Uh, you got the orcs. What, what'd you do? A lot, actually. So, yeah, a lot of movement. So we'll start with the with the, the two big elephants in the room. I lost yeah, both yeah. What, what's what's this over here? So I lost both of them to the heavy yes. to the heavy flamer specialist and the yes. two charges. He so might, charging oh. the heavy uh, specialist maybe was not the best idea with that strength five flamer. Uh, mm. I will say, though, I did have to spend a CP reroll. Yeah for the injury roll to take out the Gretchen over here. So I am at zero CP now, but then I powered up and uh, beasted through the knob as well. Just roasted them. Yeah. So I lost both of them, which yes. is a shame, but... It's it, big. But I spent the manpower to now know I shouldn't charge the flamers. That's now true. I know, now I That's know true. It's fine. Now I know this. So uh, everything else. Um, I have the Luda loot reading up here in the ruins. Yes. And I have that grot way over by the wall also reading up. Eyeing that flamer, see if he can hit, hit mm -hmm. that fuel tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the middle flamer here, the demolitions flamer, did just move. Uh, stayed stationary. Stayed still to control the. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, actually, he attempted to charge. Yeah, he tried. attempted to charge over here. We were, we were just outside of eight. Yeah. Uh, but you failed the charge even with the here we go reroll. And didn't want to walk yeah. into that. So. Yeah. He he stayed put to control that. My leader, uh, trying to be as cunning as possible, right over here to yes and to control just grab the statue. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. I moved in advance a couple of orc boys, along yep. with one Gretchen here just moving. and here. Yep. Yep. Um, and then uh, I, I'm noticing a distinct lack of power claw on the table. Where, where's that guy? Uh, where is that guy? Oh, he actually pulled a really crazy fast move and just ran right through these ruins. Yeah, rolled a six for his advance. Yeah, and with uh, evil so sons. He's, he, he's so menacing. Look at him there. He's like hiding up on the wall, and he's like, boy, I'm waiting for this combat. You're going to get yep. in there. And then, of course, oh, oh, something crazy is oh. happening. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh, there we Cords. Go. Let's get this. Technical difficulties. There we go. Okay. Yeah, a lot of technical difficulties this month. Uh, so he's there. And then, of course, uh, you did uh, you did two charges in here. Yes. I made um, one charge yep. without taking any overwatch. Yep. And then and, uh, you spent a CP yeah. on one of them. It was the, it was the, the back guy. Actually. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Back here, we spent, uh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Spent my last to reroll a single die. And made it in with sp in spades. So. Yes. He was, he, was, he was moonwalking in at yeah. that point. So that's it for movement phase oh, boy. for round one. All the teams are moved. We're going into the shooting phase coming up next. Uh, so it is shooting phase for round one. Uh, readied models, of course, Azek was readied, but he's gone. He's done because he's tied up in combat. So we have... Our demolition specialist here. So what we're going to do, uh, demolition specialist has two. Uh, he's got his Hellfire missile rack and he's got his Inferno combi bolter. We just checked line of sight over to this boy. Uh, so he's going to, he's clear, wide open. So we're going to send our Inferno combi bolter here. We're going to send our Hellfire missile rack over here mm. to the Luda. So maybe, we're trying. Maybe next turn we'll try to blow up the Luda. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was saying that is that uh, perhaps Next turn, when I don't have as many orcs in my face, I'll try to blow up the battle wagon. Good luck with that. Sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone's got to shoot at it eventually here. It's, but, it's uh, going to be me. <laughs> so let's start off with the Inferno Combi Bolter. All right. So we're within 12, so we get the Rapid Fire 4 yep. here. Uh, and these are going to be hitting on threes because you're unobscured and within half range. So four shots on threes. Oh, nice. Okay, three hits. Very nice. We like that. And then we're going to be wounding on fours because strength four to tough four. Oh, okay, right, okay, then. no wounds. And then now uh, Hellfire Missile Rack over here to the Luda, okay. so cunningly hiding behind here. Two shots. These are going to be hitting on fours because you're obscured. Oh, so the okay. Demolition Specialist Interesting does turn. nothing. Okay. okay, so he's shot. All right, uh, then uh, moving on to other ready models. It's actually your Gretchen here and, of course, your Luda. So let me just make sure I get these profiles right, because I want to make sure the best unit in the game, the Grot, gets, oh, yeah. gets it's all a, a, a 
Pistol 12, strength 3, AP 0, damage 1. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So first off, let me do some book. Let me make sure, me make sure my, my, my soon-to-be dead target. Oh, he's, he's definitely in range. Oh, yeah. This. Look at him. Pistol Look at 1. Let's see if we can get this, oh, capture yeah. this epic moment here. Look at this showdown. Get him now, because soon he's going to be dead from this All awesome right. grot. All right. Let Let's see it. <laughs> Perfect. That's a hit. There we go. That's a hit. So, uh, no, because I am obscured. Do they hit on fours normally? They hit on fours, but I but you're also at long range because you're not within six inches. Oh, I see. So that is a miss. Uh, for this turn. Sorry. Right. Sorry, Gretchen. Bum, I was bum, rooting for you. Bum. Luda? Luda. Oh. Luda coming up. Luda is going to three shots. D3 shots. So, okay, so where he where is he going to go? He's only got two targets. Well, three. I am within six there with my Luda. You are. But I at least want one more guy within six. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put All it right. in your heavy flamer. Okay. Putting it over here so to the heavy specialist. His, his normal range is 48, so I'm well yeah, within. Yeah, definitely within half. No problem. Uh, perhaps obscured. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thanks to the our statue. giant beam yeah. here and the statue and everything. Yeah. So. so it'll be hitting on sixes. But it is D3 shots. Here we go. For three. Oh, it's three shots. The big three. Brutal. Here you go. Hitting six. on sixes. I really need you to roll six here. Oh! If you were Bad Moons, you could re-roll that one. Just letting you know. Oh. Bad Moons, best clan. Hashtag best clan. <laughs> All right, so that's him shot. So now we move down to non-readied models. And for me, that would actually just be my heavy specialist here. But uh, as we were talking about, we're outside of eight of any valid targets. Yep. Uh, so he's done as well. So that is actually it for the right. Thousand Suns yeah. as far as shooting goes. I've only got this one grot left. Yeah, so, so for orcs, yep, yep, it's just the one grot right over here uh, firing into the Demolition Specialist. Yep. Now shot. that is, uh, that looks like, that looks to me like you're in six inches. Let's, let's double check. I, I'm, I think so. I think so. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes, and uh, I don't think I'd be obscured from your no. point of view there. So I think that's just going to be hitting on your basic four up ballistic skill, sir. Glorious. You got to hit this one. One dead Terminator coming you gotta right hit up. It. Boom. Oh, he hits it. Mark for death. There's okay. a six. Okay, okay. And then yeah. uh, that's going to be uh, a five to wound because it's strength three to tough four. Okay, no problem. Another six, please. Oh, oh wow. man. I got okay. okay, okay. So that's it then for the shooting phase. All done. And we'll move uh, quickly right on into the fight phase for round right. one. It's the fight phase for round one. Here we We've go. got charging models swinging first, starting with player with initiative. That's going to be me, baby. Let's me. See if you can do it. The, uh, the Scions of Zinch. Uh, mm. I don't know if that's correct, but we're going to say it is Scions of Zinch. Yeah, mm. it's fine. Who knows? Figure it's it's going to be the Scarabacult Sorcerer. He's going to be swinging into that Orc Boy. Uh, you know what? I need to check if I've got two attacks or three. I want to say it's three because they're two attacks based, mm -hmm. and then he, he is the sergeant of the unit. Three does sound right. But I, I just, I got to make sure because otherwise, you know, if I get that part wrong, someone's going to be like, my God, <laughs> what have you done? You swung one extra attack. You're worse than uh, Hitler. Uh, it's only two attacks. It's a good oh. thing I checked. Yeah, so, uh, so the Scarab Occult Sorcerer. Two attacks, swinging into this uh, veteran specialist, hitting on threes. Oh! They've both hit. In spades. We're strength six, so we're wounding on threes. That's oh, one wound okay. at AP minus one, so no save. No save at all. D3 damage. Oh! That's the big three. And then here comes the injury roll. Boom! Super dead. He is out. The veteran oh. is slain. Blah. And with that, I'll take a three-inch consolidation move right into the here, battle wagon <laughs> right up to that battle wagon baby but that is going to capture me two of those uh terrain pieces all right and then we'll move right on over here to these little orc boys absolutely just a little orc boy yeah, it's a little, just, just a, two little orc boys just a casual two orc boys fool <laughs> oh my gosh i can't believe i've done this i'm playing thousand suns mm -hmm. and i skipped the psychic phase you did I did. It's and all, we're just going to keep it that way. It's all part Obviously, of the kind of plan. all part of Zinch's plan. I chose not to try to activate. That's what it was. <laughs> I chose not to activate. It was fate. It notice. wasn't that I forgot. It was that Zinch said, don't activate anything. Don't, don't do even it. cast. Don't do it. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll swing with your two boys. Right. So two boys, two Definitely got to do it one at a time, though. So normally it's two decks base, right? And then plus one, one. for a chopper, right? Exactly. So, so both going to go into Azak. We'll do yep. one at a time. Yeah, one at a time just for injury shenanigans. Exactly. So three's All the right. hit. Ah, your first mistake. You've dropped a hit. Oh, whatever shall I do? Strength four. T4. So I need... Force to wound. Force to wound. Oh, oh, only one wound. Oh, boy. You get full save, though. No AP. I don't just get a full save. 
I get an, oh, is dust. Oh, and oh, I needed it too. No. So a three up save becomes a two up with all his dust. So we pass. Okay. Next chance. orc boy. One more time. Next. Six. Second boy. Here we go. Threes. Hey. Oh, right. no. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Oh, boy. It. I can't lose a model here. Mm. That would be very detrimental. Very, very bad for you. So fours. Hey. Oh, boy. Triple six. There it all is. All right. That's fine because oh, once hey. again. That makes nine. Oh, it was meant to be. Yes. Dust. Yeah, oh! meant to be. No, and I have no CP to re-roll. So injury roll four plus four plus. Oh, oh it was meant to be. Oh. So that's just a flesh wound. That's my fault, really, for forgetting to activate the icon. Let's see. Had I remembered it, it would not have gone no. off anyway. So it's fine. It's fine. That's fine. That's got okay. Uh, well, with that, then um, actually, that's the end of the round. Yeah. So we'll go to morale. Uh, I obviously have no break check to take, and uh, I cannot fail my morale test there because I only have the one guy with the flesh wound. Yep. Orcs, you have three that are out of action, but oddly enough, no flesh wounds. So, uh, what was your original? How many did you originally bring? One, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen models originally? So I, so I have ten left. So you need, yeah, you have to have seven out of action or flesh wounded before uh, you worry about it. So, so we're good. you're fine there. No flesh wounds means no break check. So let's tally up scoring really quick. Okay. Now, orcs obviously control this objective, this uh, terrain piece. They control this piece here. So that's two. Uh, yeah, because I think I'm, I'm outside of two. Yeah, so that's three that the orcs control. Four. So orcs definitely get the two points for controlling more. Right. And then for each fallen statue, I'll, I'll score a point there, and you're, you'll score two more points. Actually, what's the range? Two inches? Two inches, yeah. I'm just in on this one. Okay, as well. so, uh, so orcs will score three, four, five, and I will score one. Yep. Ooh, so orcs taking a strong lead here. Uh, so that's five to one for the orcs' favor. Right. So let's go ahead and go into initiative for round two. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh four versus four. Okay. We're going to re-roll it. One more time. Here we go. Hey. An eight and a nine. So the orcs have initiative now for this round. Interesting. We'll go ahead and take our movements. We'll be right back. Okay. So uh, orc turn one was... Turn two. Turn two. I'm sorry. Orc, orc yeah. turn two. Wow. Orc turn two. You're just so excited. You think it's, it stops it's the been, game again. So much has happened. I've lost track of it. I'm all just Woo. discombobulated. Uh, so let's just start from one side of the, the other. So we'll start from this side. Uh, first off, I attempted the charge with both the Gretchen first and the New York boy. Yes. Gretchen took only a flesh wound. Yeah, I spent a CP for that. That was impressive. I and was... then still rolled a flesh wound. <sighs> so he made it in, which cleared yep. the path for the boy. Yep, so they're both unfortunately. In. This orc boy over here decided to take a few steps back to be out of blast range and maybe take a shot at the battle wagon. Yep. Just, just yep. for funsies. Uh, Gretchen and Berna both readjust a little bit mm -hmm. to move out of range mm -hmm. and within line of sight of the uh, heavy flamer specialist. Yes. And uh, also to stay within score range of both of the statues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The heavy Luda um, moved out of obscurement to get mm -hmm. line of sight on the flamer, which, considering what happened later in the turn, is a little bit. Well, eh, it's know. fine. It's cool. Yeah. Um, and then the leader just nudged a little bit more to cover while still yep. scoring the statue. All right. And then uh, and then these two boys stayed in combat. Right. They they, they, then, they yeah they wanted to. And, and then, then what what is this? Oh boy. What is this? That that that's how did sneaky, this happen? That sneaky knob. He uh, okay. So to mirror his first turn advance, his second turn charge was equally insane. Yes. Needing exactly box cars. Yeah. Then proceeding to call box cars and then and roll, actually make it rolling box cars like a madman, then, like an absolute madman. That's why I haven't even turned him around to fight because he's just so <laughs> he's just he's so, so flummoxed. He's so guffawed by this. Yeah. And uh, yeah. because of Evil Sons, it gave me a 13 inch ch charge. Oof. So, yeah. Which so, allowed me to go all the way around the terrain. Yep. Yep. Ouch. Um, Ouch. Besides that, that's that's all I've got. For movement, that's pretty much it. it. Yeah. yeah. It. So for the Thousand Sons, uh, Azek fell back because uh, I. Uh, by the way, I just like to say uh, we did roll his attacks off camera, uh, but he missed. Yeah. So uh, his attack back there for the fight phase. Um, and yeah, so he fell back. So hopefully, uh, you know, he'll be doing some work here in a little bit in, the, in uh, a subsequent shooting phase. And uh, then um, he got charged, so he's locked in. He got charged, so he's locked in. And then I just moved my, uh, I moved my sorcerer mm -hmm. 
here just to get a clear line of sight right across to this guy here. And staying just outside of, of his eight. Yeah, range. staying just outside of eight there. So that is it for movement phase mm -hmm. yep. uh, here on round two. So now we're going to go ahead into the psychic phase. Yes. Zinch reminded us this time to do the psychic phase. So we're going to start off, of course, right off the bat here. Does Azek activate his icon of flame? Burn him. Oh. Oh, almost, so almost. He was motivated. He was. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll sling a psi bolt from here. That's going to go into the closest visible enemy model. Ooh, That's that boy right okay. there. So on a five up, Ooh. yes, goes off on a seven. That's one mortal wound. Okay. Uh, so that will put you straight to the injury roll here. So on a four up, oh. yes, he is out of action. Wait a second. What? Are you within an inch of obscuring terrain? Oh, I am. You are. So actually, that's just a flesh wound. Oh, boy. So that's a bit of a shame, but that's okay. Okay. Because that will decrease your uh, your weapon skill, so that's yes, fine. Indeed it will. And that'll be the end of the psychic phase. Yeah. So we'll go into the shooting phase, starting off with readied models, which is I don't think nobody. Ready. Nobody's ready. And then dropping down to player with initiative, which would be you, Rico. Okay. So Ooh, spicy. We'll, so we'll start with uh, the man of the hour. This man, is, okay. this orc boy is going to try to take a shot into the battle wagon. He's got to hit the battle wagon. He's got to hit the battle wagon. We're so. going to allow him to hit on a five, because... It's like shooting the broadside of a battle wagon. You really can't which miss is, this thing. Which is, is literally it. what he's doing. It's big and red. So on a five up. Huh. Hey! Oh, he hits. Right. Now then, on a six, it'll explode. One so you got to roll six. another six, sir. Six! Oh. oh! Okay. So you don't hit the fuel tank. It just bounces off harmlessly. Blink. So that's fine. Okay, he tried. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go into the only guy who can shoot yep. right here. Inferno Combi Bolter. Oh, oop. oop. The explosion rocked it a little bit there. <laughs> Inferno combi bolter here in the face oh boy. of this burna boy. Oh, That's going to no. be three hits. Maybe I should have shot at the battle wagon. Uh, and then these are going to be forced to wound. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy. You hit that fuel tank. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, good. oh, wow. So nothing there. That's actually it for Thousand Sun shooting. We're done. Um, okay. So then let's move on just to... Uh, Grot. Yep, you got your Grot here, uh, who could, I don't know, let's see if we're within 12 inches of anyone. I mean, he's only real target. Definitely the leader. the leader. Yeah, but, yeah, I, but I, I think uh, he's fully also, obscured. You're also right, Azek, if you want. You could, Both uh, are equally obscured, though. Yeah, so. equally obscured and equally at long range. I will take a shot at the leader. At the leader, okay. He's One just... shot, hitting on a six. You can do it. I, I believe in him. You've been rolling a lot of sixes. Oh, oh no. Okay. And um, then... So uh, you actually have two pistols here that can fire because they didn't move. All right, so I'll put them both in, in Azak. Yeah, so, so you, technically pistols. you do these one at a time. Okay, so first one. Five up. Hits. Ooh, second one. Okay, no. second one fails. And then now wound for this. Here we go. Four. Yes. Oh. Okay. All oh, is dust. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. Um, Azak, um, I think I might have to spend a CP to reroll that. Do it. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be me for CP for the round Here's though. Here's a different dice. Here's a different dice. Oh, okay. you made it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh okay. my goodness. That's all them. Okay. So we'll do. Um, all right. Uh, and then uh, nothing here. Luda. Uh, he's out of range. Yeah. You got the Luda who could fire at the leader here. Who's heavily obscured. Yeah. So. Obscured, but uh, but within half range. So just a six. Right. So D three first. Yep. first. It's just one. Oh, okay. But you got to roll that six now. Six, please. No. no. Okay. Uh, and by my account, that's going to be it for the shooting phase. That is all I've got. So we're actually going to go into the fight phase next, okay. starting off with charging models. Okay. So let's uh, let's maybe start over here for dramatic tension. Okay. So uh, because the grot was the hero and took and took the took the flush wound on the way in. Yep. He he, he will He's swing gonna first. swing first. He will yeah. Swing first. Oh. He's got a weapon skill of five up, which is now six up because of his flush wound. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll so, be fine. Grot on a six. Huh. No. no. Okay. All right. Boy. Orc boy. Three attacks from that guy because he's got a choppa. He's going to be hitting on fours Oops. now Maybe. thanks to his flesh wound. One hit. Oh, he does okay. get one hit. Not bad. Force to wound. Huh. Good. Gets the wound. All oh, is dust. Oh, oh no. my gosh. What is happening? What is happening? That's, a, that's a one wound because okay. these, are, these are Terminators, so two wound models there. Uh, Zinch is fickle today. Yeah, on? Zinch is fickle. And then now we have, of course, your, your boss knob. You know, I'm it's your boy, <laughs> the boss knob. He's got three attacks. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. He's got three attacks. Three attacks. He's going to be hitting on fours, though, because his power claw is unwieldy. Exactly. So, fours to hit. Here we go. 
One okay. 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 All right. Just there one. There we go. Whew. Strength, Strength is 10. So two's to wounds. Yeah, two's here. Okay. okay. Minus three. Minus three. So five up. Oh, oh. Zinch's fickle indeed. I have no CP to reroll. D3. Oh, oh, just one. Okay. All okay. Right. Okay. Right. So that means he's just on a wound. Wow. Because these are two wound models. Oh, so man. now it's my crack back. I'm actually, uh, we're going to start over here. Okay. We're going to start off with, of course, uh, the Terminator. We're going to go into your boy. Uh, we're going to put both attacks into the boy here. Uh, oh, actually, these, these are supposed to be flush wounds. There we go. We're learning to use these dice. These are new things. Yeah. Uh, so two attacks, hitting on threes into the boy. Oh, okay. Oh, one hit. All right. Okay. Strength four to tough four, so force to wound. Gets the wound. Nope. AP is minus three, no so save. no save there. And uh, it's one damage, so a three up to take you out of action. Oh, no! Oh, it's a second flesh uh, wound. So we'll kick this over here to uh, two flesh, two flesh there wounds. There you go. Wow. Okay, wow. well, that's not great. And then uh, we'll go here, the hero, the heavy specialist. He's already killed one knob. In Overwatch, he's about to do it here in combat. Add another skull to Two attacks, belt. hitting on threes. Okay. One hit. That's all you need. Well, a knob is a two-wound model. Yeah, you so. can kill him. Uh, so him. four up to wound. Oh. No. Oh, my goodness. The dice are not with me this day. That mm. brings us to the end of combat. Indeed it does. Yes. So uh, next up is the morale phase. So I have uh, just still the one flesh wound and, mm -hmm. and nothing else. So no break check. No nerve checks for me. Now you, sir, you've got three out of action, four, five with a flesh wound. So still no break check, mm -hmm. but now your flesh wounded models here have to take nerve checks. Which isn't good because Gretchen no. is very, yeah, very Gretchen is leadership four. Now I would like to point out you have a plus three here mm -hmm. to this role for your out of action models. Now would you like to uh, take your nerve check for the boy or the Gretchen first? We'll do the Gretchen. Gretchen first, first. okay. So he's got a plus three, so he needs a natural a one to save. You, do the boy first, because okay. uh, then if you get a shaken model, that's another plus one to your Oh, role. even better. So yeah, so do Ooh. the boy first, because he's got a plus three. He's leadership six. Mm -hmm. So he, as long as he rolls a one, two, or three, he's fine. Okay. But on a four up, he's shaken. Now watch. Now I'm going to get the six. Yeah, now you roll a six. Oh, oh okay, no! Okay. So he's fine. And then the Gretchen on a natural one? Can Maybe I, you should have done the Gretchen first. Can I do it again, everybody? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's no. shaken. Oh, boy. He's shaken. So uh, shaken is, of course, the only thing you can do is roll saves there. Cody Grot. So there you go. Okay, and that's it for morale. So uh, scoring, again, orcs are going to score two points mm -hmm. for controlling more uh, of the terrain pieces than right. the Thousand Suns. And then you'll control one, uh, two, three here. So that's another five points oh, for the orcs. Uh, and then... Uh, no, I actually moved off this one, so no points for the Thousand Suns. So that makes it 10 to 1 in favor of the Orcs. Man. Let's go ahead and go into uh, initiative phase for round 3 here. An Whoa. 8 and a 9. Oh, the Orcs have initiative again. That's real bad. Oh, That's real bad for the Thousand Suns. We'll take our movements. We'll be right back. Right, end of movement for round 3. It's been another eventful one. Uh, orcs had initiative, so Rico, tell us what you did. Okay, so uh, I first off, I threw out the wall. Started off with wall, so, yeah. So that's uh, basically add another inch of movement to your characteristic and to your advance and charge rolls. So really fast orcs now. Turns out, uh, evil suns on wall is really fast. Really fast, like really, stupid fast. Yeah. So for example, uh, with this first boy, I rolled a four on my advance and yes. I was moving what thirteen inches. Thirteen inches, yeah. But you didn't take the full move because no, thirteen would have put you over here, but exactly. you can't uh, move within an inch, but you are controlling that little uh, statue now, so Precisely. that is something. I decided to stay in combat here with, yep. with, uh, with the second yep. mm -hmm. Uh I moved the Luda, uh, his normal uh, distance, which now is seven. Which is now seven, right. which is wacky with evil sons. Yeah. Um, just to poke the gun out to try to get yep. the leader, mm -hmm. but that didn't mm -hmm. work out, as no. you can see. Yeah. The burnout moved within range to shoot at the leader. Mm -hmm. Danger the, close, as it were. Danger close, super danger close. Uh, the Grot readied up because yes. he, he, he sees that, that big scary termy decides mm -hmm. to try to take a shot at the mm -hmm. battle wagon leader. Leader stayed put to secure uh, yes. the objective and be cunning. Yes, of course. Uh, you, looks like, what? Well, yeah, you, your boys here charged. The boys did charge, indeed. Yeah, into Azek. Uh, uneventful overwatch. I did, I did try to take it, but nothing happened. Right. And then, uh, and then he stayed in combat, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, for the, uh, for the Thousand Suns. Uh, I figured I was safe in combat over here, even with that flesh wound, uh, or even with that wound, excuse me. I decided I'd, I should probably be all right. 
And then uh, my leader charged in here, uh, rolling a 10, so that's why he's behind him now. So now, as long as I can kill him, I can at least contest these uh, spots. Well, you killed then one, so... My Terminator fell back, because I, did, I didn't like the look of that claw there. I <laughs> uh, didn't like it one bit. Like and then uh, Azek is, of course, obligated to stay in combat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with that, we'll be moving into my favorite phase. I totally did not forget it the first turn. <laughs> uh, the psychic phase. We'll start off with Azek. Does do he it. activate the Icon of Flame? Oh. No. I'm and waiting for it. I'm waiting our leader for it. activates... Powers the Imperium, the Imper Empiric Powers. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, and slings a Cybolt, which goes off on a seven. Magical powers. That's one mortal wound to, of course, the Burna Boy. So an injury roll is just a one. Just a flesh wound. Okay, just a flesh wound. Okay. That's actually what I wanted mm. because then you can't, uh, you can't shoot me still. Scary. But that'll make it easier for me to kill you in combat. Indeed. Uh, and with that, we'll move into the shooting phase. Okay. Starting with the player with initiative, which is uh, yourself, Rico. And I got one ready model. You got one ready model. Yeah, yeah here so we go. Gonna just turn around. Nice. He's, oh. he's going to sling a shot into the battle wagon, huh? Exactly. So. All right, so he'll hit on a four up his normal oh. ballistic skill. No. 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 You got scared. No fun got scared. today. All right, uh, and actually then, so it'll go over to me, which is nobody. I'm done. Uh, so it's all you. So what you have, you've got some pistols right here. Yes. You got a pistol here. You got the Luda here. You've got uh, a pistol here mm. that you can fire. Or you can actually fire a, a grenade there, too. You could do a stick bomb. Oh, okay. So let's start from this side and go way over. Sure. So we'll start with the pistol first. Yes. Mm -hmm. from Slugga from the boy. Five? Uh, six, actually, because oh, of his flesh wounds. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So well, that didn't matter now. Yep. Anyway. Next, we'll go with Luda. Luda. Whose only viable target is going to be... Is, of player. course, yes. So the uh, are, heavy specialist. And you are very obscured. Very obscured. So. Yep. So D3 shots. Oh, it's Ooh, the three shots. Okay, all right. Eight Does he six. get any sixes out of it? Come on! No! Oh. Okay. Whew. That makes a six of that. All right. Oh, no, nothing. Okay. Um, and then uh, we keep uh, we keep moving over. We've got uh, one our guy bomb. here. You could throw a stick bomb. I will do That's that. That's a D6 shot, sir. Oh, oh, it's six, six. shots. Oh, what wow. Were you but you got a hit on fives and sixes. There so. we go. Oh, he gets That's two hits. Okay, not bad. Interesting, not interesting. Bad. All right. These will be fives to wound because it's strength three. Give me one more time. Here we go. Okay. No. Oof. A little scary oh. there. I was getting worried because I've taken, taken a good number of uh, <laughs> wounds so far. Uh, that is going to bring us to the end mm -hmm. of the shooting phase. Yep. And right on into the fight phase we go. Okay. Uh, so starting off with charging models, that is going to be one of your boys here okay. first, and then I'll and then I'll get to swing. So three attacks going three into attacks Azek. Three attacks from the boy. Azek. Azek, you got to hold, man. You can do it. Oh, two that's hits. two hits. Okay. Right. Azek, don't do it. <laughs> Azek. Of course. <laughs> hey. One wound. <sighs> All hey, is dust, baby. He's got it. All is dust. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and go into our... Sorcerer here fighting into this burn -a boy Two attacks. I'm very worried about this. Hitting on threes. Oh, God. Both hit. If you were Imperium, that'd be a death to the false emperor. <laughs> it's a shame you're not. Then, threes to wound. Oh, no. That's two wounds. AP minus one, so no save. Mm -hmm. First one, D3 damage, is two damage. Okay. And that means our injury roll. We're just looking for a three up. Hey! Oh, we barely get it. Take him out of action. Ooh. Very nice. And then that, we're going to actually a three-inch... Consolidate there. We'll go ahead and put us into combat with your little uh, your little Gretchen buddy. Oh, no. Actually, do I want to be in combat with him? I don't know that I do. Uh, so I'm actually going to stay just out of combat, but still uh, contesting the objectives. Yeah. Yep. So there we go. That's him. Okay. All right. Then we're back to one of your other boy over here. Yep. It's three more attacks into Azak. 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 Oh, Ooh. that's three hits. Oh, Azak. Oh, Azak. Oh, Azak. <laughs> Azak. Azak. Uh, fours. Hey. Okay, twos. Okay. Two, 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 two. Two's baby. Yeah. yeah. Azek. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Proud of you. You nailed it. All right. Uh then we drop down to non-charging models, which is going to go over here to your boy here. Okay. Your Gretchen would be involved, but he's shaken. He's too scared right now. He's very he's way scared. Too scared. Yeah. So, um three attacks. You got two flesh wounds. That's a minus 2 to hit. So you're hitting on fives, sir. Yeah. Hitting on fives. I feel like a Gretchen right now. One hit. All right, okay. And you're wounding on fours. 
Yes. Oh, look, look. Boop. That is a five, though. That's a five. Okay. 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 No. There we go. There we go. So I took a lot of wounds early on, but now the math has come back around. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight him into uh, into that boy there. Cool. Um, uh, threes, two attacks hitting on threes. We get him. Nice. Wounding on fours. We okay. do get it. AP minus three, so no save. Nope. Uh, injury roll. Looking for a two up here. Oh, oh yeah. He cleared him he in gone. half. Gone. Uh, he goes. He is gone. I'll take that. Yep. Yep. All right, and uh, I believe that's going to be the end of the fight phase. Oh, no. So we're going to go to morale. Once again, I'm fine. Only yep. the one flesh wound here from Azak. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Azak has to swing. What am I talking about? Get him. Almost did it the same thing. Almost forgot about him. I just am excited that he's alive. He's, 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 he's still good at saving. Uh, he'll fight into the helmeted boy. Okay. He hits. Ooh. Azak. No, oh, he doesn't want Azak. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, so that is actually it. So yeah, so morale, I'm done. I have no nothing to worry about. Now you, sir, have two, four, five out of action. You've got a sixth on a flesh wound. No, nothing else though. That's it. So you are fine. Okay. You don't have to break. Now uh, you would remove this shaken token, and then on a natural one, the Gretchen is not shaken. <laughs> no, oh, he's shaken so again. Okay. All right, put him back on. Tallied up. All right, round four. Could be potentially the last round of the game. This could be it. Could be it. So let's go ahead and into initiative phase. There we go. Five. Seven. seven. Oh, oh man, the Thousand Sons cannot wrest the control of the initiative from the orcs. We're going to do our movements for round four. We'll come right back. It's the end of the movement phase. We were discussing it off camera. All is not yet lost for the Thousand Sons. Depending on how this round goes, I might be able to wrest control back from the orcs. Mm. Uh, we'll see. So orcs had initiative. Yep. Uh, what happened? So um, not as much as the last round, but yes, still pretty significant. Uh, it did charge this boy. Finally. Yes, this so. boy charged in. No Overwatch because yeah. I was still stuck in combat with that uh, silly little Gretchen. Thank you, Gretchen. Uh, speaking of Gretchen, I moved him back to try to get a last minute just shot on the battle wagon. Yes, yeah. So Hopefully, can... trying to do something, do something with battle here. wagon. We'll find out if it pays off. Uh, move the Luda over to this window mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and just to poke it up, see if I yep. can get a shot on one of these guys. Yep, absolutely. The fearless then, uh, leader looped around. Sure. To uh, within his movement range to yes. get a shot on somebody. Absolutely. And then the boy stayed in combat. The boy stayed in combat. And uh, uh, what's Oh yeah. What's all this? What's it looks like there's something missing over tried here. Tried one more charge with my former MVP here. Yes. And uh, he couldn't quite dodge those flames. Faster. He got yeah. He got melted. He got melted. I love yeah. the the lore of the warp flamers from the Thousand Suns because it's literally like twisting reality and they turn into like chaos beasts. Ew. They just like explode and stuff. Gross. So for Thousand Suns, of course, uh, this. Terminator stayed in combat. Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe uh, things will be good. We'll find out. Uh, my leader readied up. This gentleman moved here. Uh, you know, to to try to get uh, get something good. We are just within eight of these boys, mm -hmm. both boys. And you'll notice, uh, Azak, 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 oh he fell back. That's been his play this whole crap, game, apparently. Crap. Well, he's drawing away the forces. He's yeah, so away. it is the end of the movement phase. Yep. Um, and we're going to go into the psychic phase. There we go. So to start off the psychic phase, does Azek <laughs> activate his icon of flame? Oh, oh I saw the man. six. Ah, could have happened. Could have been cool. Then, uh, of course, our leader will sl sling a cybolt. I measured it up. We're five and a half from this Gretchen and six inches from your Luda. Oh, no. So it's going to have to go into the Gretchen. Looking for a five up. Whew, Ooh, just barely. Oh, exactly just barely. One mortal wound mm -hmm. takes you to your injury roll. Yep. So on a four up. That's oh. it. He's out of action. He won't be shooting at the, wow. at the uh, battle wagon today. We've finally gotten to where we're going to be forcing a break check from the orcs. All right, that's it for psychic phase. Now we'll go into the shooting phase. Mm -hmm. Shooting phase is going to start off with readied models, which of course, the leader. Where's he going? After he's slung his cybolt, he's just going to turn himself okay. around to face this Luda, his next biggest threat. He raises his Inferno combi bolter towards him. Four shots hitting on fours. Ooh. That's two hits. Okay. These are going to be wounding. On fours, yes. as the Inferno rounds rip through him. Oh no! Ooh. 
That's all we needed, though, because oh, no it's AP minus two. You got no save, sir. Oh, geez. So, on a five up, he'll be out of action, sir. No. Oh, oh man, it's just a flesh wound. Thank you. Thank you, Gorka. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now we're done with that. We're done with readied models. Okay. We'll go into non-readied models, starting with the player with initiative. That's going to be you, sir. It is. So what we'll do is, I want to start with the leader. Starting with the leader. So one Ooh. shot at your leader. One shot at my leader. leader Interesting. Leader. Interesting. Leader v. Leader. So he is within half. All right, let me just make sure. When Lord I checked, he was, six. Ooh. he was. Oh, you moved. Oh, no. So he's not within six anymore. Oh. So need, you're not obscured, though. Not obscured. That's true. That's so, true. So just hitting on a five. That's it. Just a five. That's all I need. That's it. Oh, oh not enough. Not time. enough. All okay. right. Now, we're going to fire my heavy specialist. Oh, we're yeah. going to spend... <laughs> okay. We're going to spend two CP, one for mm -hmm. Hungering Warp Flame, so okay. I can roll 2d6 and pick the highest. And I'm also going to spend a CP, so that's one CP, then two more CP for the Heavy Tactic, more bullets. Okay. So this is going to be, uh, I'm, I'm, my primary target is going to be this boy, and I'll split to this boy depending on the number of shots. So it's 2d6, picking the highest, and then add one. Oh, God. Oh. Six, seven shots. Okay. Seven shots, baby. So I'm going to do uh, four shots into the primary target. Okay. One shot in, or three shots into the secondary target. Gotcha. So that's four auto hits into the primary. Mm -hmm. These are going to be wounding on threes. Okay. That's three wounds. wounds. That's AP minus two, sir. Oof, no save. So no save. Damage one. So we're just going straight to the injury roll. Oh. It's just okay. a flesh wound. Okay. I... I'm going to CP re-roll that. Okay. No, okay. okay, so it's still just a flesh wound. So now I'm down to one CP. All right. So that's fine. And then uh, I'll go ahead and do my three other uh, shots into the other boy. Uh, so that is going to be uh, threes to wound again. Just Ooh, one wound. Okay. But again, that's all I need. Injury roll. Out of oh, action. There okay. it was. I think you know what I'm going to play. Play the orc tactic, just a flesh wound for two seconds. Okay, okay. Use this tactic when a model from your kill team is taken out of action. Roll a d6 on a four plus. That model suffers a flesh wound instead. Ooh, so okay, okay. Can so I on a everybody? four up. Can I get it? Yeah, oh, he we go. does. So well, it's just two flesh wounds. Well spent. I'm not pleased with that, but also I'm not, uh, I'm not too upset. I'm just uh, upset at my one CP of... Uh, of uh, re-rolling that didn't yeah. pay off. So that's him fired. Okay. Uh, then that'll be it for the Thousand Sons. So right. now we'll drop down, We'll drop back to the orcs. Mm -hmm. You've got your Luda here, and you've got your two boys here. Okay, so we'll do the shoot. Luda first, who okay. now needs, what, six is to hit. Six is to hit, yeah, because he's got a flesh wound. <laughs> so D3. All right, and this is going into the leader, I assume? Uh, yes, leader. All right, so one hit, one or shot. one shot, excuse me, hitting on a six. <laughs> no. no. Okay. All right, and then our two boys here. One could throw a stick bomb. And then uh, the other has to shoot a slugger. So I will put the stick bomb into Azak, mm -hmm. and then the uh, slugger from Top Knot into the flamer. Okay. So we'll do the slugger first. All right. Uh, Sixes, because he's... he's got a flesh wound. No. Not a. And then... All right, and then D6 shots for the stick bomb. Whoop. That's a five. A five. That's a five. Let's see oh, boy. Keep all these inside the trailer. Oh, side. boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Hitting on sixes because of your flesh wound. That's all I needed. That's all I need. Hey, oh, one. that's one hit. Okay. All right. Not bad. Okay. Wounding on fives. No. Okay. The Thousand Sons once again have survived. Oh, Zach, come on now. So we'll drop down from anything yeah. shooting wise and we'll go into the fight phase. All right. It's the fight phase. I'm digging it. We got our one boy here. He charged. Yes. He's attacking that Terminator. Three attacks. No flesh wounds. So no flesh wounds. So he's good fine. Good to go. Eating threes. Okay. Two, two hits. hits. Right. Okay. Eating fours to wound now. Okay. Oh boy. Four oh, one. it's one wound. Ooh. I got a two up. Terminator save. Oh, he makes it in style. Nailed it. All right. Where are those ones now? Then I'll swing back. I'll fight into. Uh, I'll fight into the boy. Okay. All right. Um, ooh. Or do I just try to kill the Gretchen? You can just split it. Up up. Do one and one. I don't ooh. get a, a save either way. You miss. That's split. spicy. That's spicy. Do uh, kill the boy on the back swing. Decapitate the Gretchen. Because if I can clear, that's huge. That's massive. That's absolutely huge. Um. Yeah, I'll do one and one. So uh, into the Gretchen on a three. Yes. On a two. Yes. And injury roll. No. Just another flesh wound. Dang. So close. 
to do. Oh, but it, it, wait, it is a new round. I, I do have a CP Ooh. left. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, I'll reroll it. Oh, okay, he, oh, he's, he's out of action. He's so Gretchen's dead. He okay. explodes. <laughs> now the boy on a three. No. Oh. Okay. Mm. All right, I've spent a lot of CP rerolling flesh wounds. You've got I just no want to point that stuff. out. <laughs> I just want to point that out. All right, uh, so that's it for the fight phase. Yep. Here's the interesting part now. We're in the morale phase, okay? Uh, the Thousand Suns, once again, don't have to worry a lick about morale. They're good. But go. you, sir, have to worry about morale. Your highest leadership on the table is six. six. You have to take a break check because more than half of your team is out of action or flesh wound. So as long as you don't roll higher than a six, you're not broken. There we go. You got to roll 2d6 for that. No. Oh, you are broken. No. You are broken. This is exactly what I needed to get back in the game. All according to plan. Now, yes, all according to the plan of Zinch. <laughs> now, each of your models has to take a nerve check. Okay. Okay, now you've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of action. Your highest leadership is six here from the Luda or the boys, whichever one. So everybody needs to roll, everyone across here needs to roll a natural one. Now you've three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Plus one, seven. So yeah, everybody's got to roll a natural one, no matter how you slice it. All right. So let's just go, let's go my left to right. Here we go. This boy. Give me one. Yeah. Oh, All he's right. fine. Okay. Right. okay. The Luda. One, please. Oh. He's shaking. Okay. The leader. This is your important one. Give me that one. No, no. no five. No. Uh, boy number one. Top knot. Top knot. Shaken. And helmet. Helmet man. Hey, oh, okay. Right. Okay. 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 All right. I'll this makes things interesting, actually. So let's drop a couple shaken tokens. So shaken there, shaken there, and uh, top knot is shaken. Okay. So that brings us to a very interesting round five or round four scoring phase. Okay. So we're contesting here. Yeah. No one controls this. Mm -hmm. I control one, two, three, and then am I within here? No. So three. And then uh, you're shaken here, which means we're contesting. So I control three mm -hmm. terrain pieces. You control, we're contesting, shaken, shaken, shaken. You control one terrain piece. So I score two points for controlling more objectives. And I score a point each for the two statues. So that brings me to four extra points, bringing me up to five to your 12. So now suddenly... It might be a game. The it. question is, As always. does the game go on to round five? I need it to go to round five. And that's going to be you, Rico, rolling. I need you to roll a three up here for the game to go on. But if you roll a one or a two, you just lock the victory. Okay, here we go. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, oh okay. that's what we needed. Round five, five, baby. Five for five. All right. And then let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Thousand Suns with a seven, Orcs with an eight. eight. Again, Ooh. the Orcs have the initiative. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and take our movements and we'll be right back. We've taken our movements just to talk about it really quick. It's looking good now for the Thousand Suns. Five to 14 is the score. But the thing is, I need to get in a good scoring position for everything. And then I need the game to go on one more round. So it's still not guaranteed. Orcs could still keep this game locked up in their pocket. Yeah. For the Orcs, everything was shaken. I'm just going to do this really, really quick. Uh, this boy stayed in combat. Helmet head over here. Helmet uh, man. He charged in. Azek took Overwatch. Nothing doing. Azek. All right. Azek. Azek. All right. Uh, my leader moved up here as well as my heavy specialist. They both moved up uh, just to get within eight inches here from my flamer and within 12 inches here, and my demolition specialist fell back. That's it for movement. Yep. Psychic phase. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Azak. This Azak. Could be it. This could be it. Oh, is this it? Does he do it now in the 11th hour? Oh, oh no. That's fine. Cybolt is going to go from the leader into the Luda. On a five. Oh, oh. oh good. Oh, so close <gasps> to paraling. Oh, Oof. man. I am going to spend a CP, though, going down to one uh, for uh, re-rolling. Okay. So, hey. there we go. Goes off. One mortal wound. Oh. And that is going to be an out of action because yeah. you do already have a flesh wound. Okay. So, the flesh wound and the, and the intervening terrain um, negate each other. I'm going to 
Spend two CP on just oh, a flesh wound. Oh, spending two CP going down to one for just a flesh wound. Interesting, sir. I need to see if Interesting. I can save him. On a four up, this goes to a flesh wound. On a four up. It does on a six. Oh, good. wow. Got to keep my boys up. Got to keep them up. Wow. Okay. Two flesh wounds. Okay. And then now we'll go to shooting phase. So uh, no one's ready. So we start off with the player with initiative, which is going to be you, sir. And that's going to be a little pistol or a stick bomb into my Terminator. Ooh, let's go with stick bomb. Stick bomb. D6. Hey! Six. Right. He gets the six. I'll take that. But you need sixes to hit here. Oh, whoops. Or, or excuse me, five. Oh, no, yeah. Sixes to hit because your kill team is broken. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, just a flat minus one across everything. Oh, that he one. does get a hit, though. He gets a hit, people. This is big. This Four, is big. Or fives to wound. Ah. No. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. I'm saving the best for last. I'm saving Flamer Boy here. Okay. We're going to shoot, of course, the leader. All the way across here. This is going to be hitting on four shots, hitting on fours. He raises the Inferno Combi Bolter high. Oh, Only gets one he hit. He only needs one, though. He only needs one. Especially oh, with a four to wound. Oh. No. Okay. All right. Here we go. The man. No. The myth. No. The legend. Into your leader. No. He's taken the most orcs out of everyone. D6 oh, hits. Boy. That's five. Here we go. Twos. Oh, oh no. yeah. He's so beautiful. Don't do this to me. No! He's out of action, baby. <laughs> the leader is gone. That's right. You saw it here first. This absolute hero of a uh. Terminator taking his heavy warp flamer and roasting a cowardly Gretchen. Let's just clear that out because you burned all that out too. Oh yeah, it's all, it's all, all dead. And all that was left was his red hat. That's all that was That's left. it. That's it. And some say even that was a myth. We'll see you next game. Okay. We'll find out. Uh, fight phase. Because we're, we're just, we're powering right along. Oh, yeah. You got your boy here. He's got a flesh wound and he's broken though, so he's hitting on fives. Helmet. You can do this. Helmet. Uh. Two. He gets one hit. Helmet. Azak. Okay. 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 Four to wound. Okay. Oh, right. oh okay. no. Azak. Oh. But it's all his dust, baby. Azek's time to strike back. He oh, hits. no. Azek's time to strike back. He no. doesn't wound. Azek. Azak. Azak. Okay. Uh, that's it for fight phase. So we're going to go to morale phase now. Uh, again, Thousand Suns, just fine. This is very we're bad. Fine. This is not good. Orcs, still broken, so you don't have to take for break checks again. Now you'd clear off all your shaken tokens, so no one is shaken again. Okay. And then you just uh, got to roll some natural ones here. So oh, for this yeah, guy, yep. no. Shaken. For the Luda, Luda's right here. Shaken. Very shaken. Top knot. Top knot. Very shaken. shaken. And helmet. Come on, helmet. No. Shaken. Everyone's shaken. Okay. Oh, no. That's huge because oh, now that no. means for scoring, I of course control more. Yeah. So that's two. And then I control two more here. So that is four more points for me, bringing me up to oh, nine wow. to your 14. One All more right. Round, one more round like that and you could tie it up. Yeah. So... Here's the thing. If I... Your whole team is shaken. It's yeah. literally just a four up at this point because <laughs> if I get a four up, mm -hmm. I'm fairly positive I can take movements to get more than five points. Yes. We're going to find out though because I do need to roll a four up. This is a non-rollable thing here. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Thanks, Zinch. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Oh, what an end. Well, let's talk about it. So there you have it, man. An oh, orc man. victory uh, feels weird to say. Usually I'm the one saying orc victory I mean. for me. <laughs> but uh, it feels good. It feels weird to be yeah. on the orc side. It's nice. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, well fought game. Um, I knew setting up that you were going to have the advantage. Yeah. Uh, man, I just phew, that the early dice point lead, yeah. were the early point lead is definitely harsh. Been, the yeah. They were really harsh in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, um, and just the inability with power swords to clear boys and Gretchen, that, yeah. was, that was what hurt. Yeah. That's what really hurt. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but I, I really had fun with this list. Uh, you know, I thought the game type was fun. Oh, it was really good. I liked yeah. it a lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a shame. You, you definitely tried to make use of the, our special battle wagon rules. Uh, didn't just couldn't, didn't quite, quite, I, I, I presented too many good targets. So he had no choice, but to go yeah, yeah, exactly. Seven, so. Exactly. I mean, uh, maybe, yeah. maybe if there weren't boys 
running pell mell at me, maybe I would maybe. have tried well, to. But then I'm not playing orcs, so. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's, it's true. Yeah, it's give and take. It's true. We'll try it again at like another game, and maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. work then. Who knows? Yeah, I'll say uh, MVP for me, my heavy specialist. Oh yeah. With the warp flamer, I mean he iced two knobs and a Gretchen in Overwatch. Yes. And he iced, uh, he iced uh, your leader. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, that's right. And he put flesh wounds on boys. Oh. So he caused over the course of the game, including getting. Oh yeah, and he survived your boss knob charge with the uh, with the power claw. Survived everything. Yeah. So he, I mean, he's MVP for sure. Oh yeah. Um, I he'll definitely be back in a list. Um, in the Thousand Suns Hall of Fame. Yeah. There he is. Uh, Azak, I don't know about him. He did not pull his weight this game. He didn't, but he, he didn't die. No, he did. Yeah, so. I mean that's the thing. I, I will say it was really nice just mm-hmm. being really durable. It's just it's really like, it's really reliable. Yeah, yeah, super yeah. reliable. That's 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 how I feel a lot with playing Iron Warriors. Is that when you when you have Terminator armor to fall back on, you can be a little more risky. You can, yeah. you can kind of stand out in the open to score the objectives because you you have that certainty. Like right. I'm, I'm right. like ninety, literally ninety nine percent sure I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that was what was nice here. Is uh, I mean, he didn't really pack a lot of. Uh, he didn't pack a lot of uh, high AP. I mean, you had no. it in the burners. Yeah. But uh, but they didn't quite land. No. Uh, you had it in the power claw, which unfortunately didn't quite work out. Yeah, unfortunately, you rolled the one for the yeah. damage, uh, which was. Uh, it happens. Yeah. I yeah. think if I'd gotten the big chop in earlier, I could have maybe done a wound, and then the yeah. call could have finished it from there. Yeah, yeah, I think so, but, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the nice thing about the big chop. Uh, it, unfortunately, it's only AP minus one, but it is two damage, so mm-hmm. that will, if it punches through, if exactly, the Terminator yeah. fails its save, it'll... Yeah, it's a more reliable attack yeah. than than hoping I'll, I get a four. Yeah. Because fours are hard, they're hard, really hard to roll. Yeah, it's, yeah, at, at least for us. I mean, maybe for you guys it's maybe different. Maybe you have no problem. Maybe My you just roll terrible. sixes. Who knows? Yeah, uh, we saw, uh, man, I don't know, this is like my story with the Thousand Suns. Mm-hmm. Three up ballistic skill, three up weapon skill, cool. <laughs> oh, I need to wound? Oh. Oh, I need to cause an injury roll? No, all right, no, all right, no, all right, we're out, we're, we're done, we're done. We're done. We're done. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, no. Again, it's a four up, which is oddly hard to yes. roll. Yes, yeah, yeah, it makes oh. things weirdly durable. It makes things like Gretchen <laughs> weirdly durable. Red, Red Bandit Gretchen, that's, that's actually, I think he's one of my MVPs. Of yeah, I think so Surviving Overwatch. I think so too. From one of the most tooled out Terminators I've ever seen. Yes, and yeah. And just fine. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, mission, uh, you know, maybe we played with uh, maybe too many I think terrain so. pieces for that Maybe. mission type, but I mean, hey, that's narrative, you know. That's it's narrative, that's but it, oddly, if, if it had gone to turn six, it would have been. Worse. Yeah, worse. yeah. Had it gone so, to turn six, I think with a couple spicy mm-hmm. advance rolls, I, think, so. I think I could have. Uh, I think I could have made yeah. it uh, in in space to um, to capture these three mm-hmm. uh, pieces, and then maybe uh, I don't know, maybe another one, yeah. and then so that would have at least tied. So we would have, it could have at least tied up the game. Yeah, but, I, de- I definitely uh, think you could have gotten it because if you had just killed everything or left me shaken, then you, yeah. you could have just positioned everything perfectly to just just do nothing but sit there and let me break against the wall of Terminator armor and just score. Right, just score, right. Score, score. Well, and, and that's the thing is like what you won on was scoring the game because you, you never killed anybody. No, no. Uh, but I just couldn't outscore you. Which is, I just couldn't Which is like couldn't really demoralizing when I throw <laughs> like the whole team and get a one wound. Oh, yeah, that's what yeah. happens. Well, that's I felt really nervous those couple of times when I was yeah. like, okay, I got a two up save, one. Okay, I got a two up save, one. Like uh, him, when I mean, he had a five up because mm-hmm. of your claw. Yeah. So I expected to fail that, but the other ones, mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm out of CP, but hey, it's a two up save. I'll be fine. Yeah, be, be fine. I don't know, man. No big deal. Two up is really, the dice giveth, the dice taketh away. Oh, and they so. took it away this time. But then they gave it. They get, they did they the did end, they came they gave, back they gave around it it's sort of averaged end. out yeah. yeah um in terms of clan culture I love evil sons I'm, oh my I'm, gosh I'm yeah they're loved, so fast this has always been my favorite clan of all the works uh, I'm a diehard evil son speed freak fan and yeah. this just reinforced why playing wa and getting oh, a seven inch base movement plus two to anything I roll for the advance oh yeah it's ridiculous yeah. that's crazy I had never even considered that with evil mm-hmm. sons I that that wa stratagem so yeah. your evil son boy mm-hmm. five inch move. He becomes six with his clan culture. The Wa makes him seven. He's seven inch move there. He's exactly. basically Eldar. Yeah. Then if you advance him, that's a D6 plus two. Oof. Oh my gosh. And then the charge roll is two D6 plus two. Mm-hmm. 
it's 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 horrifying. Gross. That that allows for That's crazy gross. thirteen inch charges for thirteen inch advances where you don't even need to move use all yeah. the movement. It's insane. It's crazy. Yeah, but that's, well, that's like yeah. yeah. So a single a single boy, mm-hmm. oh man. And Evil Sun's Commando is Ooh. a six inch move base, oh. so then he's eight inches plus a D six plus two, so he's ten inches plus he can get a sixteen inch move. That's over half the board long ways because the board long ways is thirty inches, so he could go from from one side to the other At that in point, two turns, yeah, two just, waz, and he... Psh, psh. You're just like moving like Gene Steelers at that point. You're oh just running gosh. the whole board. Yeah. Well, I, I think boys for me are definitely... Uh, there's a reason they're a mainstay of a lot of orc lists, yeah. and that's because oh, yeah. they are reliable, dependable, and in, enough numbers they'll kill anything. Yes. This is not the game to showcase that. Yeah. Well, you did cause wounds. I got real close. Which is, I almost you know, killed Azak. I, yeah, yeah. Azak. Almost. Azak. Oh, Helmet. Helmet. He almost. Yeah, he almost did yeah, it. real close. He almost did it. But in the end, it was just the low morale, and uh, I think bringing the high numbers is what kind of led to my downfall. Yeah, yeah. Cause, so. Well, because eventually, well, that was the thing is if I could have, if Zinch had told me to not skip the psychic phase turn one, he, he had plans uh, that you couldn't foresee. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. And uh, and I had been able to roll a couple more four ups for injuries and stuff. Yeah. You should have been taking that break check uh, much earlier. Yeah. If if, if then, I had, I would not have scored. 14 points. Yeah. It would have been. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. So you probably, it would have been a closer game had I been able to force the break checks earlier mm-hmm. and, you know, maybe something else there. But hey, that's how it goes. It's that a dice is, game. Exactly. You know? And that's what's fun about it. I mean, I, I thought we had a nice little, uh, we had a nice little narrative going. The orcs breaking in yeah. with their battle wagon and the Thousand Suns. Obviously, even though uh, it's imperial themed, you know, the Thousand Suns were once part of the Imperium. Obviously, this was <laughs> of some great import to them, this site, exactly. so they had to defend it. Uh, Precisely. Uh, and, you know, they did clear out the orcs um, eventually, but Pretty unfortunately, good. the orcs had uh, already stolen what they had come there to loot. They looted just enough scrap. Just enough. Unfortunate. So, I think um, since you decided to blow away the leader, um, I know plenty of spores have been dispersed today. Oh gosh, tons so they'll be of spores. Back. Tons of they'll spores. They'll be back. It's fine. They'll be uh, like they'll, they'll grow just another red hat. They'll mm-hmm. be back. No worries. Mm-hmm. It'll be all right. Maybe I'll bring some bikes next time, just for the background, maybe, or just if we if just play. to zoom around the maybe. board. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, just, just to circle yeah. you in. Yeah. I think, uh, I think if we ever like play a big game, then we can do the full Mad Max style game, and you can see the little red grot in in all of his glory, commanding a whole wall all there by you himself. Go. There you go. Any other big thoughts about the game, man? Uh, great terrain as always. Um, hey, thank fun you. mission. Yeah. Super fun. Uh, next time we got to pair back the terrain maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe we had a bit much terrain in terms of the mission type. Yeah. Uh, as for like a normal game of kill team, I think actually maybe this is a little too open. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, to be fair, we, we, we always roll it randomly. We just kind of stick to what we roll. Yeah. So yeah. I think it worked out in the end. It came up came up to be a really good game. And yeah, if, if so it had too. gone on, it would have been a real nail biter. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, thank you for coming in today and playing. Uh, I really enjoyed your orcs. I'll be looking for a rematch soon. Oh, you'll, oh, you'll get it. Don't yeah. worry. And guys, guys, thank you for uh, stopping in and watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you want to see us in your feed every week on Warhammer Wednesdays, make sure to hit that subscribe button right over there. If you want to see... Uh, well, uh, this is the first game with your uh, with your orcs, so if you want to see a game with a thousand suns, you can check out the video right here. Exactly. And thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.